Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Beyond the Routine. This is part two of our special seven part series. Now in part one, we test out this MSI Gaming X Plus RX4 uh, 580 8GB edition. Uh, and we got about uh, 30 mega hashes per second during that episode. Uh, afterwards, uh, we were able to get it up slightly more to 30.3 with different settings it is now at uh, 1031 millivolt uh, core voltage 1200 uh, megahertz core clock and 2200 megahertz uh, VRAM clock and it is a stable 30.3 mega hashes per second card uh, some people might be a little bit disappointed that uh, the top of the line model offered by MSI uh, is only hashing at 30.3 not the 31 well um, the ASIC quality on this car was only 70.3 percent we're hoping that uh, that could just be an oddball that maybe there are better ones of the same uh, series out there um, because we can certainly get uh, a regular gaming X uh, or even a regular gaming up to 30 mega hashes per second without much issue so for this to only do 30.3 um, it's not looking good for the MSI now this episode we're covering the ASUS top OC edition which comes standard clock at 1411 megahertz and with an overclock of 1431 megahertz um, it is the top of the line ASUS RX 580 model uh, we'll see how well this uh, does in our test. Uh, we know that it'll probably run cooler, uh, more quiet, um, but uh, as far as the hash rate goes, uh, we've never come across an ASUS that is uh, a leader of the pack. It's usually a pretty solid performer in the middle. It uh, doesn't fall dead last, but it doesn't lead the pack either. We're hoping that uh, this will be a different case. Uh, we shall see. Um, by the way, thanks to all the people who watched our first episode and all of our other episodes on uh, Beyond the Routine channel. Um, it is with your support that we're able to continue uh, our passion and uh, to do more of these videos for you. So when you get a minute, please uh, subscribe to our channel if you have not. And if you like this video or you love this series, please click the like button. Uh, we are planning on a giveaway uh, at the uh, seventh part of this series, and so stay tuned. Um, it's going to be a big surprise, so keep watching. Anyway, on to the test. We were able to get the MSI Gaming X Plus to mine at 31 mega hashes, but that was setting the VRAM clock to 2250 megahertz per channel and it created tons of memory errors that was not acceptable so 30.3 was the highest stable that we can get it run okay on to this ASUS the T8G Gaming Top OC Edition by ASUS um, is a unique card it is perhaps the longest of the six cars that we're testing at 11.73 inches by 5.28 inches it has three fans, it's only the, the only model that has three fans, and six heat pipes. It is also considered a 2.5 slot card. And the unique thing is it only comes with a 1 times 8 pin. So it only has one 8 pin power input. Alright, quickly we'll show you what the packaging is like and what is included inside. That's pretty good looking. This would be the user manual and driver CD underneath the foam cover. Now we like how ASUS always include these uh, uh, cable management ties. It's very very nice of them. And then we have the GPU and like we said this thing is a very long 
video card with three fans. This is a lot thicker than your usual um, ASUS card, a lot thicker, definitely a 2.5. And as you can see right here, it's only got an eight pin power input. It has two display ports, two USB 2.0B and one DVI ports. All right, now we'll step into the actual test. The three main softwares that we use to monitor and test our video cards are the HW Info and the Tech Power Up GPU Z, as well as MSI Afterburner. Focusing on the WH Info, we'll see that this time we got lucky and the ASIC quality is significantly higher than the MSI. It's 80%. We would still like to see some somewhere in the 85 to 90 percentile, but 80% we'll take that. You will see that by default the ASUS T8G Top Overclock Edition is clocked at 1411 megahertz with the memory clock at 2000 megahertz with effective 8000 megahertz it is confirmed that it is sam using samsung ram by the hw info and over here by gpuz gddr5 samsung now one thing we have noticed that it is at the current default of 11, uh, 14 11 megahertz core and 2000 megahertz RAM that it is consuming a lot of uh, power almost 150 watt while mining in Claymore 9.3 it is giving us on average about 24 4.6 to 24.7 similar to what we uh, we got from MSI Gaming X Plus uh, this is the number the hash rate prior to uh, BIOS flashing it is just standard original BIOS with uh, original settings nothing's changed 24.6 to 24.7 we will now modify the BIOS and come back and see what that does to this card. After a quick BIOS flash where we modify the BIOS by copying the timing of 1750 to 2000, we're seeing a hash rate of almost 28. It's going to be lower right now because of the screen capture, but as you can see up here, it's in almost 28, 27.99, 27.976 mega hashes per second. This is after BIOS flashing uh, while keeping all the settings identical as the default setting that the card came with. I have to say this card is a power hungry card. Right now, as you can see, GPU only power draw is almost 160 watt, 155 to 157 watt. Now we do like to see that the memory controller load is at 100%. Anytime it's at 100%, you know that you are getting the maximum performance out of the video card. Um, everything else looks good. We are going to play with the settings and see how much we can, uh, how much hash rate we can get out of this ASUS TG, uh, T8G overclock, top overclock edition. Be right back. After a disappointing hour of fine tuning, trying to find the best um, settings for this ASUS T8G top overclock 
RX 580, we've come to the conclusion that this card is not a 30 plus mega hashes card. It is at most a 29.5 mega hash card. Um, and the memory clock, uh, as long as it goes above 2110 megahertz, uh, GPU memory errors will occur. At 2200, it won't even last uh, 30 seconds. So, uh, how disappointing um, to find that uh, this Asus car that is um, great in every other way, including gaming, is not the best in uh, cryptocurrency mining, uh, especially when it comes to Ethereum. So right now, as we stand, number one is still the Radeon RX 580 Gaming X Plus by MSI, followed by the ASUS Top Edition, the T8G Top Overclock Edition. Um, the next car we'll be testing will be the Gigabyte Aorus Radeon RX 580 G, uh, XTR, followed by the Power Color Red Devil Golden Sample Edition. And then by Friday, we should be testing the XFX uh, GTRS edition. With the final card, uh, the Sapphire Nitro Plus um, limited edition. We have high hopes for this one, and uh, we're saving this for last. So uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, as we continue to fine tune our cards, if you have any suggestions, or if you own one of these cards and have uh, settings that is better than what we've been able to discover uh, and be able to get higher hash rate, please let us know. Share with everybody. I'm sure everybody will appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to click the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to our channel. And we hope to see you in part three of this seven-part series to see which RX 580 of the top model that manufacturers offer is the best at mining. Have a good night.